how important do you think the Yambala Festival is to this community? Oh, very important, very important. I mean, you know, Port Ayos, you know, it's crossroads of, of Australia, you know, it's crossroads and people got to pass through here to get through, you know, wherever. And, um, you know, there's a lot of development going up around the place, but, you know, don't really see much for for Aboriginal people, you know, and and whether that be by way of, you know, tourism or cultural, ex, you know, cultural stuff. And so I think it's very important that for this community that has these has these things and, you know, bring community together and bring the young ones together and give them something to do and, um, you know, let let them let the community see that there is, you know, other blackfellas out there doing, you know, doing stuff and whether it be dance and singing, comedy or whatever, you know, that um, I think it's a very positive for the for the community. Can you tell us a little bit about where where you get your inspiration for when you write your music and your songs? I just get them from life, from life experience, um, from observations, um, from surroundings, things that happen around me. I don't really write, you know, political songs, you know. I write songs more about, you know, the life that we live, you know, like, um, you know, falling in love, falling out of love, uh, being on your own and uh, running around, drinking and, you know, partying and coming home late and, and then I write songs about, you know, say I write songs about my kids or I'll write songs about my grandfather or my uncles or, um, you know, other observations in life like, you know, the old Aboriginal stockmen or the old Aboriginal soldiers and diggers, you know. So it's mainly, it's mainly about life and its observations that I write my music about. That's, that's what inspires me, so. Um, and if, if I can get a song out of it, then that's the way I'll keep going, you know. So, yeah. Would you be able to give us a little a sample or a song there of yours and can you tell us a bit about what the song is that you'll be playing and tell us a bit about how you come up with it? Yeah, some a song I wrote, uh, I don't know, about maybe three, four years ago now. And it's a little bit of a love song, you know, just is... Um, yeah, I don't know, like, it's hard to say how, how I write my songs, but I just sort of sit there with the guitar and play tunes and throw words here and there. And it's like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, it just seems to fall into place after a while. And, um, you get a topic for it and you get a theme for it. And um, yeah, it's just a little one I wrote called um, I'm High in Love. So um, this is a popular one for people when they get married, you know, they want me to come and play this, so yeah. There's a song in my head and it's going round in circles Trying to find the right words and write it for you Let me be the one to say that I love you Let me be the one to carry you through There's a song in 
my heart and it's singing and I can hear those church bells ringing when I'm high on love when I'm with you and I'm high on love when I'm with you there's a song in my heart and it's singing and I can hear those church bells ringing when I'm high on love, when I'm with you. And I'm high on love when I'm with you. And I'm high on love when I'm with you. Thank you. That was really good. <laughs> Too deadly. Anyway, and thanks again for coming in to do the interview. No worries, and thank you. Yep. We will speak, maybe speak to you sometime soon. Hope so. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs>